everyone, this is chapter 4 of The Crown and the Flame, book 2. Tana's secret mission to Alriel takes a dangerous turn. Meanwhile, Dom and Say discover something terribly amiss in Say's village. Chapter 4, The Docks. Now playing as Kenna, soldiers fill the street, interrupting the festival. This is it then. They've discovered that we're here. Let him come. If I'm going down, I'm taking some of these bastards with me. No, look. They aren't coming after us. As you watch, the soldiers break up the festival, overturning tables and pushing the people of Alriol around. What are you doing? Our shift was over hours ago. You've no right to harass us like this. A severe-looking man emerges from the soldiers. Is that... Florian Tartassus? In case you were unaware, production is down 12% this month. Nice glasses. If you feel this merits a celebration, then clearly I have been too lenient with you. As of now, I am instituting a sunset curfew and double shifts for the rest of this week. This party is over. Soldiers shove forward, tearing down the decorations and roughing up anyone who resists. You can't do that. A soldier grabs Kailani's arm, wrenching it painfully behind her back. Don't talk back to us, worker. Kai! We've got to get out of here before they spot us. We must create a diversion to help them. You dart behind the soldiers and grab a handful of rocks off the ground. As you run by, you throw them at the soldiers holding Kailani. Hey, who did that? As the soldiers look around, Kailani twists sharply, throwing one of them to the ground and elbowing another, elbowing another in the throat. Put your hands on me again and I'll crush your skull like a... Kai, this way. You and your companions follow Noah and Kailani as they dash through the streets. They lead you to a tavern named the Laughing Seal. Noah ushers everyone inside and pulls the door shut behind you. Raised, angry voices fill the room. Workers crowd tightly between the tables, their bodies tense and their faces outraged. We should be safe here. Thanks for the help. I couldn't stand by and do nothing. Kailani has a reckless streak. She needs to learn to be more careful. We need to fight back. I'm sick of always running and hiding. How much more will you let them take from us? Many of the workers shout their agreement, raising their drinks and pounding fists on the table. Raydan leans in to whisper in your ear. See how they're looking at her? It seems we found the leader of this fledging rebellion. You may be right about that, but not everyone's looking at her. Scattered among the excited, rowdy, around the excited, rowdy workers are others who look to Noah, their faces grim and uncertain. Kai, you know it's not as simple as that. Are you really going to risk your life because they broke up a party? That festival is a part of our heritage. It used to mean something to us. I'm not any happier about it than you are. I'm just saying that it's not worth dying for. We've tried to rebel before, remember? It only made things worse. We have to do something. It'll be different this time. And why is that? I... I don't know. It'll be different because this time you won't be alone. This time, Stormholt will stand with you. You stride to the center of the room. I'm Queen Kenna Rise of Stormholt, and I've come to offer my help. Hold on, you're Queen Kenna? I freed my kingdom from Luther Navrakis' son, Marco, and I joined forces with Rowan For Thorn to defeat his brother, Basilius, at Thorngate. That's right. And now I've come to Alriel to talk t with you about overthrowing Th Florian and talking, taking back your town. Does this mean... Are you going to attack Alriel with your army? Not bloody likely. Florian has watchtowers all over the countryside. 
you try to march an army in here, he'll bring in reinforcements to Fanrion and crush you before you make it within a hundred miles of us. True, Florian spent all his efforts protecting Alriel from the outside, but that's left the town vulnerable from it to an attack from within. Listen, I haven't spent, spent much time here, but from what I've seen, I know that the Alriel people are... Mm. Strong? The harder Florian pushed you, the stronger you became. You've, you're already an army. You just need something to fight with. Oh, is that all? You make it sound so easy. Florian do doesn't let us have any weapons. Or anything we could use to make into weapons. Every piece of metal here is kept under lock and key. But we have something you don't. We have... It's Heart Oak from Thorngate. Um... I just kind of want to know what that is. Rowan, could Thorngate supply us with enough... Oh yeah, it's that really strong that with enough heart oak to make weapons for Kailani's fighters? We should have some to spare, yes. Hold on, what's this heart oak, and how does it help us? It looks like wood. It is wood, actually, but it's as strong as metal. This is like iron wood. So we can get it into the city without Florian even realizing it, and use it to make weapons right under his nose? Exactly. Slow down. No one's agreed to this. I understand your concern. The important thing is... Yeah, it is your decision. I'll follow your lead. This is your home. I want to take down Florian and anyone who serves Luther Nervacus. But this is your choice. See, Noah? We can work with these people. Rowan leans in and whispers to you. Looks like you learned something from what happened with Throngate. <laughs> That's true. Thank you for that lesson. I might make mistakes, but, I've, but never the same one twice. I'm sorry, Kailani. I can't be a part of this. Noah sadly shakes his head and leaves. Rowan, we're going to need heart oak. Lock, lots of it. I can spare enough to make a hundred heart oak spears. Only a hundred? We're going to need way more than that to fight Florian. I know the battle will be difficult, but my people are rebuilding our castle, and Heart Oak takes hundreds of years to mature. If we harvest too much now, we'll devastate future crops. I have to ask, how much could we get if we took it all? Two hundred, maybe two fifty. But we can't do that. It would destroy the Heart Oak forest and leave us with nothing. Rowan, um, yeah, do decimate the forest. Just send as much as you can spare. Queen of the forest, you let Rowan keep mo most of Thorngate's heart oak. Thank you, Kenna. I knew you'd understand. I'll go send word immediately. A hundred weapons won't be enough to arm us all. Plus five army. It's more than you've had in the past. Fair enough, but that's not saying much. I have to tell you, Warrior Queen, it's been a long time since I've felt this much hope. But can you really deliver what you're promising? I can, and I will. Well then, you've got yourself a hard-working, tougher-than-leather shipbuilder on your side. I'm talking about myself, obviously. You ally, Kailani has joined your alliance. You're a force to be re reckoned with. We're honored to fight alongside you. A few days later, you follow Kailani to work at the shipyards. Shipment of your fancy wood came in yesterday, so we should be, so we should have a few good weapons to show you today. Stay on your toes, though. Florian likes to drop in for random inspections now and then. If he recognizes you, I'll keep an eye out. See that you do. One look at you, and Florian will know you don't belong here. Kailani takes you to an area where craftsmen are carving long planks into what looks like 
what look like boat paddles. You pick one up. The paddle is heavy in your hand, and the blade tapers to a wicked point. Clever. From a distance, I'd never guess this was a spear. Good stuff, that heart oak. Holds an edge like steel. All the weapons should be ready by sunset. That was fast. Your people do amazing work. Are these dragons carved into the handle? Sea dragons, for good luck and fierceness in battle. Figure we need all the luck we can get. Especially since some people are refusing to help. Following at Kailani's glare, you see Noah hard at work on the other side of the yard, pointedly ignoring you. Stubborn oaf. He didn't used to be such a coward. He used to be the one who talked about rebellion the most. Really? What changed? Ask him. I've spent enough time hacking away at that particular knot. Ugh. Diamond wall. Want to find out what broke Noah's rebellious spirit? Now's your chance. I'm gonna leave him alone, because I don't have enough diamonds. I don't want to bother him. Right, let's have, let him have his little pouting session. We've got work to do. You glance at Noah one more time, realizing that he's watching you talk to Kailani. You and Kailani pass by a small, sleek vessel lashed to the dock. Kailani pats the boat fondly on the bow. Noah and, Noah and I took our time on this one. Florian was not impressed with our efficiency. She's beautiful. Does she have a name? She does, and your barbarian tongue would tie itself in a knot trying to pronounce it. In your language, call her Swift. Pleasure to meet you, Swift. She might be the best ship I've ever... Kailani's interrupted by the sound of armored soldiers marching. Oh, hells, why did he have to show up today? You spin around to see Florian approaching the shipyard with a full company of guards. He'll recognize you for sure, dressed like that. Quick, hide in here. Kailani grabs the lip of an upside-down canoe and heaves, lifting it off the ground just enough for you to scramble underneath. Kailani drops the canoe on top of you, trapping you in total darkness and sending up a plume of sawdust. You stifle a sneeze as Kailani starts sanding the outside of the canoe. You hear the clanking of armored footsteps, then a voice. Hmm, quite industrious today, aren't we? That's me, industrious. Particles of sawdust tickle the inside of your nose and throat. You feel another sneeze building. Hold it. You manage to hold in the sneeze, just barely. I had some concerns after our altercation the other day. But so long as your productivity continues to improve, I'm willing to overlook that minor infraction. Thank you, Lord Florian. You're very generous. You feel another sneeze building. Hold it. You grit your teeth, forcing yourself to stay quiet. Your brother, on the other hand, his work has been declining in quality over the past several months. I'll speak to him, my lord. I'll make sure he improves. The tickling in your nose and throat continues to build, becoming nearly unbearable. Oh, calm down, Kenna. Hold it. Clamping your hands over your nose and mouth, you ride out the maddening sensations in, the, in silence. I do hope your brother can reverse this worrying trend. The two of you are my most skilled workers by far, and I'll accept no less than your full potential. Noted. Is that all, Lord Florian? You hold your breath. Yes, that is all for today. Keep up the good work. The sound of armored boots retreats into the distance. A moment later, Kailani pries up the side of the canoe to let you out. Whew, plus two prestige. Ah, chew. Whoa, holding that in for long, were ya? <laughs> Sorry to shove you under there. I panicked. No complaints here. That was quick thinking. You should probably get out of here. That was a little too close for my taste. Agreed. I'll see you at the tavern this evening. Later that night, you all gather at the Laughing Seal Tavern. That's it, then. We've got all the weapons we need. As many as we could make from the heart oak you gave us. We used up every last scrap. 
and the weapons are all easily accessible. Hidden in ca ca catches throughout the shipyard, everything is in place. Excellent. I've been itching for a good fight since we got here. Tomorrow, you'll get one. Fools. You glance over at Noah, who sits alone at a nearby table. He stares down into a tankard of ale, his hands held in tight fists on the table. You're going to fail. Can't you see that? Florian has over a hundred highly trained soldiers in full armor. There's more of us, and thanks to Kenna, now we're armed. Noah, it won't be like the last time. This could actually work. And I'd feel a hell of a lot better fighting with my brother at my side. Kai, please don't do this. We've given Florian enough trouble in the past. This time, he'll kill you. You're all I have left. He's taken everything else. Well, I'm going to take it back, and I can do it without you. You go ahead and roll over like a good pup for that soft-handed slave driver. I'd rather die. Kai, you're not... Get out. Just looking at you is making me sick. Noah's shoulders sack. He gets up and leaves through, th through the tavern's back door. Are you all right? When we win tomorrow and I get to rub Noah's big brick-like face in it, I'll be as happy as a seagull on a picnic day. Then I guess we better win tomorrow. Rest well, everyone. We've got work in the morning. Now playing as Dom, after discovering the presence of Narakis foot soldiers, you and Say rush towards Say's village. After hours of running, you come upon a small valley with a sparkling brook. Several tiny cottages are nestled against the mountainside. This is your village? It's beautiful. We're not here to admire the scenery, Lowlander. Look. Villagers, shackled and beaten, form a line near their mountain path. A woman at the front yells at them, sorting them into two prisoner wagons. Is that? Oh no. Fools, all of you. If you have fired abilities, I will discover them. Don't make matters worse by pretending you're normal. Fire coils around Say's arms her eyes narrowing. Hex! She bolts forward, but you grab Say, holding her back. Say, wait. Get off me, Lowlander. The scientists must die. I agree, but if you rush in there, the drivers of those wagons might panic and drive off. And then who knows what will happen to your people inside. Just take a breath. Why would I breathe when there's killing to be done? because I know deep down you care about freeing your people more than revenge. Say relaxes in your arms. You're right. We need to free my people. Good. And to do that, we need to prevent the dragon wagon drivers from fleeing. That means a coordinated attack against them. We'll need to attack on a signal. What should it be? Our signal should be... Um... Two sharp whistles? It'll sound like this. You whistle, you quietly whistle two short blasts and feel a tinge of sadness for your old friend. Oh, Edgar. What is it? Have you cut yourself on the rocks? No, just that sound reminds me of someone. Someone that I lost. Then we will honor your friend in our attack this day. Listen for my whistle. You sneak carefully down the hill until you're near the wagons. You hide in the grass, one of the wagon drivers just in front of you. Just need to listen for Say's signal. You hear wind blowing through the canyon. Should I attack? Wait. That's not the signal. You wait, listening. You hear a cr cricket chirping nearby. Wait. That's not it. Continue waiting, listening, you, and hear two short blasts. Attack! You leap up and blast the driver with a fireball. Ah! Meanwhile, Say does the same thing to the driver of the wa other wagon. Yeah. Ah. Plus one power. Cover me. 
Hurry! Say flo throws out a wave of fire, pushing back the remaining guards. You rip open the back of both wagons and the villagers come pouring out. Flee! Run to safety! We'll handle this! Sy synchronize. Say synchronize. You, re you rescued all the villagers. We got them all out. As the villagers flee into the mountains, Hex stands before you, a squadron of guards behind her. While I am quite irked at the disruption of my plans, I can't help but feel a tinge of nostalgia. How are you, beast? Happy, knowing that you'll soon be a pile of ashes at my feet. Oh, I doubt that. I doubt that very much. Hex snaps her fingers and the guards step aside. A man lurches forward, a gleaming metal device clamped to his scalp. Oh. Anton, what are you doing? You know him? We grew up together. Anton stares ahead, his red eyes glazed over. Well, this just got even better. Not only do I test, get to test my latest invention, but you're about to get thrashed by your childhood friend. Anton steps forward, blue fire coiling around his hands and forming two forked fire whips. Is there any point to fighting him? Aren't all of us immune to fire? Yeah. Anton lashes out with one of the whips, and it snakes around your forearm. You feel it starting to burn. Guess not that far. I should escape. You wrench your arm free of the fire whip, the burn reddening around your arm. How come I felt that? Plus one power. You're immune to fire at lower temperatures. The harder it gets, the harder it is to resist. Well, I'm not planning on letting him whip me again. Anton shambles toward you. You quickly summon a fireball and... No! Say slams into you, tackling you to the ground and causing your fireball to whip miss wildly. One all hells say... We can't kill him, Lowlander. He's innocent. Finally, you're starting to see how hopeless and utterly delightful the situation is. Just kill Hex. That thing in, on his head, you're controlling him. Then kill Hex. Say leaps up and jumps on Anton, trying to pry the device off, but it only clamps down harder, tearing at his scalp. Ha! Ah. He spins, throwing her off him. She lands in the dirt beside you. Oof. I, I cannot remove it. What do we do? I have an idea. Follow my lead. I'll use the... Split fire? You summon a fireball and start to aim at Anton. Say pulls your arm away. Did you forget already? We can't kill him. <sighs> Anton charges up a fireball of his own and blasts you both with it. Ah! It's over, Lowlander. We've lost. You suddenly take in your surroundings and realize that Hex's troops have encircled you entirely. Capture them. A soldier fires a large black sphere at you. It springs open into a mess of chains that wraps around your body. The soldier pulls the chains tight and your hands are yanked up so they're fa pointing at your own face. The same thing happens to say. A little something I've been working on since last we met. Keep that fire inside, unless you want to burn your own face off. Say fights against her restraints. Here I am, scouring this frigid mountainside for more fire fe freaks, and you fall right into my lap, the beast that got away. Hex steps forward, looming over Say menacingly. I told you not to threaten me. Your nightmare is just beginning. Well, that sucked. Chapter Progress. Kailani joined you as an ally. Underestimate this pint-sized powerhouse at your own risk. You took less heart oak from Thorngate. Rowan is grateful, but Kailani's rebellion may suffer. You didn't talk to Noah about the rebellion. His motivations remain a mystery. You and Say launched a coordinated attack and freed all of Say's village. Over our progress. Kailani alive and recruited.
First DH 12 out of 18, power 9 out of 12, weapon 0 out of 5, allies 15 out of 15, troops 0 out of tro 0, significant choices 25 out of 55. Army score 61 out of 105. That's the end.